transition a two goal lead? Yeah, uh, something we've got to uh, stop doing and um, it's uh, something now in the last three games. We've, um, I wouldn't say we got away with it uh, at Dartford or Bristol Rovers because we deserve that, but I just felt today that. Um, I mean, Andy, uh, Andy Dibble, <laughs> Andy Dibble's lad's been outstanding in goal, and um, he's made some crucial saves. But uh, defensively, we really got to tighten up, and uh, you know, we're making some making some basic mistakes at the minute that's not helping us. So, uh, but um, we kept going, and um, again, I thought we'd, we'd got one at the end there, but uh, it wasn't to be today. And of course, on the positives, I mean, the substitutions at half time did help you. Uh, Hobson got you into it. Could easily have been 2 2 a couple of minutes after the goal that he did score. In fact, the first goal that he did score it just flashed inches wide. Yes, I mean, um, we just felt that uh, we needed to change things around and, and, and change the makeup of the, of the formation at half time. And um, it wasn't that we weren't happy, it was just one of those things where we'd give none in a two goal start, disappointed with a free kick, you know, and uh, it was just a question of just trying to change things around to, to get ourselves back in it, and, and um, we nearly did that. Kingsley James missing today because of suspension. Did you miss his presence in midfield, in the heart of midfield? Yeah, because he gives us that drive in there, and um, the way he's been playing, you're going to miss somebody like him. We've missed Ben Hennigan as well. But so this is, you know, the, the, when these lads are out, I want other lads to come in and, and stake a claim. And um, you know, it's, we, we, Ben's been missing for a couple of games, and he's been doing brilliant for us. And uh, obviously Kingsley, you know, we know how well Kingsley's been doing for us, so he's a miss as well. But they can't help you when they're suspended or injured. So it's up to the lads in the squad to go in there and uh, you know take that baton over. Um, but uh, no, I just felt today that we've created enough chances, and we always will create chances. And, had plenty of shots, but we've got to we've got to tighten up at the back. And of course, when the third goal came as a result of you pushing forward, and it was a gung ho sort of period in a way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, um, we could, we should have perhaps made it two each just before Nuneaton got the third. But um, yeah, I always throw people forward to get back in the game, and if it means leaving one on one at the back or whatever it is, then we'll do it. That's just the way I am, and um, I'm not going to change that. I say we nearly. We nearly got something out of it today. I think overall, maybe perhaps deserve to get something out of it because um, I think Nuneaton, hey, Nuneaton have come up on the back of a 5 0 beating and uh, you know, they'd have obviously had an ear bashing from Liam. Um, so uh, we knew that they would come out of the traps pretty quickly. But you've, it doesn't matter who you play in this division, you've got to be, you've got to be at it. And, you, and, and I'm not going to blame the goalkeeper or the back four, you defend as a team. And, um, and we've got to do a lot better, a lot better. But the application must be pleasing, and if there is a positive to come out, the way that they, the heads didn't go, I mean, the application was there. I mean, what, 3 2, it could easily have been 3 3 in added time. Yeah, quite easily. And um, I mean, that's the one thing about the players, and I think that's, that just goes to show how far we've come in a short space of time where you know, all the lads turning up today and the squad and myself, we expect to win. And that's a good thing to have in your dressing room. But you, you know, sometimes it doesn't always go for you like that. But um, we're improving, which is pleasing me. And um, although we've lost today, there's been there's some great signs in the squad. But um, today, just you know, I felt the Neaton had a few breaks go their way today for them. A couple um, of decisions went their way. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll that's say. one of them things. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the things you've got to put up with. But um, and sometimes you just don't get that rub of the green. And, and, and although we didn't get the rub of the green today, we've still got to make sure that defensively we've got to be a lot tighter. Now that results in the book. Nothing you can do about mm. it. Now you move on to Tuesday. Another team that are battling at the bottom of the table in Telford. Yeah, very much so. And um, thankfully today we didn't we didn't um, we didn't get anybody uh, booked that we'll see them miss uh, Tuesday because there was a few walking a bit of a tightrope with that. And obviously with Kingsley coming back into the squad, that'll give us a big lift. And, and hopefully Ben Hennigan will be fit as well. So um, that just you know make us stronger when everybody's fit. Will Tuesday's game against Telford be similar to this? A team that really battling to try and get away from the nether regions, if you like. Um, well, we'll, we'll we've got to we've got to adjust sometimes against teams to you know if it becomes a battle we've got to battle with teams but you know we want to play. But I've said to the lads after the game you know it's not always going to be like that where you know, Neaton closed us down quickly today and um, got in amongst us. But uh, when there's games like that you've got to adapt and um, that's the other side of winning matches. And of course Telford had a reasonable uh, result on Saturday. They drew one-one with Grimsby. Yeah, well, hey, Liam's fighting for his life down there, isn't he? So. Um, 
you know, and I, and I know, uh, you know, they work so hard to get into the conference, and I'm sure they're not going to just give it up. So uh, we know how tough it's going to be. But just think, it goes to show this this league this season that uh, it's it's a very strong strong league, and um, anybody on the day can beat anybody. How is the injury situation at the moment? I'm thinking of O'Keefe and Hannigan. Will they be available for Tuesday? O'Keefe's not going to be right, unfortunately. Um, and um, Hennigan will have to have a look closer at the time. We, he wasn't right today, but hopefully, fingers crossed, he will be uh, he'll be okay Tuesday. Steve, thanks for talking. Okay.